Hello collectors and fans, this is G-Man with G-Man Toy Reviews. Today we got something totally, totally different than the normal. We have Science Fiction Robot. Yay! If you're in collecting robots, this is going to be your kind of video. Today you can see I've got a couple of robots on display. We got from the Forbidden Planet, Robbie the Robot. In the middle, R2-T2. Behind R2-D2, we have Maximilian from The Black Hole, a Disney movie. Also, very end to the right is Lost in Space, the B9 robot. Danger, danger, real Robertson. Well, you get the idea. Personally, these are collectibles that some you still can get and find on eBay. Let's go on with the review. We're going to go to the right, and I'm going to bring up the B9 Lost in Space robot. This comes out with Diamond Select. Uh, it's got oh, a couple of long lots of phrases on the side of the package. I'll come in closer so you can see it. As you can tell, that's a lot of statements, a lot of things it says. <laughs> oh, pause the video if you want to read every one of them. But personally, this is probably one of the best B9 robot action figures slash collectibles you can find. And it is made by Diamond Select. Uh, these came out a few years back. You still can find them on eBay, but they're going up in prices every day. Uh, I'll give you a, a taste of what it sounds like at the beginning of this one. Let's let's do this. Let's see if we can get this robot to do something for us, okay? Here we go. Let's see if we can get this to work. Uh, oh, do you like that? Oh, look, it even lights up. And it's this famous one, Danger, Danger, Will Robertson. Outstanding. That is the B9 Wobot Lost in Space, a limited inch tall figure from Diamond Select. Oh, wait a minute. Let me turn it around so everyone can see everything. There's those sayings I was telling you about a few months ago. Here's the back of the box, which shows a nice illustration of it. And there's all the information on the bottom for you. Ain't that beautiful? Yeah, that's beautiful. And then, of course, the side where the Try Me button is, which is kind of cute. It's actually a little square battery, the little pack there. There's a little green square you press there on the back of it. Okay, that's the Lost in Space Raw. Let's go to the next one. The next one came from Walt Disney World. Yes, Walt Disney World. This is an R2-D2. Get ready for it, guys. Get ready for it. Cup holder cup. Yeah. This is something you bought at the Star Tours. The Star Wars Tour is what it was. You walk a uh, place where you eat near the Star Wars Tour area. And they put these little cups in here with straws. And, and this was a, like a cup holder for a cup hold. Well, if that makes any sense. But it's R2-D2. It's made by a company called... Uh, let's see if we can get a good in there. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, I think it's called Whirly... WhirlyDrinkWorks.com. WhirlyWorks.com. It was made for the Disney Star Wars tour uh, people. And you got this when you went to Disney World when you're buying a drink. Remember now, this is just a cup holder that holds the cup, okay? The cup was just a plastic throwaway cup or something like that. And they just put a straw in it or a styrofoam cup in it. And then it opened up, you know, and then you got the souvenir after you were finished drinking it. Pretty cool, huh? I had a friend give me this. I appreciate that, Anthony. Thank you for this cool collectible. Okay. Now, let's go on with another cool collectible. This in the background, that was back to a million, but this right here is Robbie the Robot from the Forbidden Planet. The movie came out in 1955, and Leslie Nismus. Leslie Snippy, something like that. The man of the world, he was in famous for the Police Academy movies, was in this movie. He was very young, and he was the captain of the flying saucer that landed on the Forbidden Planet. Dr. Morpheus built Robbie the Robot to be, well, a companion and a servant for his daughter, and actually a beautiful daughter. And Robbie was really the star of the movie. And for almost 62 years, he's still making appearances. And this is so well remember. Back of the box is really nicely detailed, tells you what he does. He's, uh, he spins motion around. 
He has a motorized walking motion, has constant lights and sound. Uh, if you read in vain, the audience of the Forbidden Planet, his charming personality and a social futuristic abilities is indeed. Robbie was everything anyone would want in a robot enough, topping the building smart enough to speak 187 different languages, able to replicate emeralds and diamonds and whatever else you wanted to do. Selfless, obedient. This was one of those cool fun. He also knew the three rules of robotics. Yes, he knew the three rules of robotics, believe it or not. Um, this was made with the help of Treadmasters. These are at Walmarts, if you don't believe me. Let me pick up the box here and show you. Right there at the bottom, guys, Walmart. Yes, you can find these at Walmart still if you look. Uh, they also made uh, another robot called the Iron Giant, just to let you know. But this one here is the most famous one, though, to me. The other Iron Giant is an anima uh, animation robot. But this here, this was definitely in a real movie from 1955, The Forbidden Planet. Or was it 56 or 57? Whatever. But you know what I'm talking about. Uh, the box is beautifully designed for spacey looking. It is really outstanding. This is some of the poster art they had back then. They just added it to the box. The box is beautifully done. Uh, there's no reason really to take them out, honestly. Uh, let's try a sound effect for you. Here we go. Let's push the button right here. You have to push the little, it says try me, but it's really this little orange button right here in the middle. Welcome to Altair Board, gentlemen. You can I see. Transport you to the residence. Oh, outstanding. He says a couple of things. Uh, not sure how many more things, but let's try another one. Welcome to Altair Board, gentlemen. I am to transport you to the residence. Okay, that's to the residence. Welcome to Altair Well, I guess he's stuck on that one. I am to transport you to the residence. Well, you can see he lights up his mouth and all. In the original movie, his mouth actually was blue instead of white. That's the only thing I wish it could be. You could probably take him apart and put a plastic of a, a little bit of plastic in there, a blue tint or something to make it look more realistic. Um, it's pretty good. It's uh, I think the going price was $19.99 for these, and that's a good buy for this classic and great collectible robot. Now let's go to the next one. Okay. Let's pull that off to the side, get that out of the way. Let's get the B9 robot out of the way, and let's get the last one. This was by MPC Models. Uh, MPC Models. This is the black hole robot, uh, Maximilian. Uh, when Disney made the black hole, a lot of merchandise came out at the time in 1979 for this movie. And this is one of the models that came out with a plastic model of Maximilian. Uh, I'm not sure if they made the big ship of the of, of the where Maximilian was on, but this model is very old, um, and it's considered a collector's item now. Let me take him off the little round thing and put him set him down flat so he won't wiggle off. Uh, I got this off a, a, a person who was selling it at basically a yard sale business and. I bought this thing for less than five bucks, and I, I don't regret it. You know, I put a couple of dollars. But whoever had it originally uh, put a red bub in there, a white bub, so when you put a battery to it, the head here would light up red, uh, which is kind of unique and cool about this robot. Uh, someone had the idea of, you know, put a battery in it and make the head glow like it did in the movie Red. Again, this is Maximilian. Robot from Disney's The Black Hole by MPC Models of the time. Now, you still can find this model. Uh, it's up in price on eBay with a box. Uh, you're going to spend some good chunk of change to get it. Uh, but still, if you're really into science fiction robots, you might want to get this. Okay, cool. That was Maximilian. I appreciate your time and watching this video, and this has been G-Man with G-Man Toy Reviews, signing off. Peace!